Chris and Lori show. Hello. <laughs> we are back. Welcome back. We're talking about a fun topic today. Oh. Ready for it? Fear of intimacy. Yep. And before we go, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the oh. Chris and Lori show on health, wealth, other matters of the heart. about fear of intimacy today and why are people afraid of intimacy funny you should ask i was just thinking about this yes yeah, tell yeah. me more so you know i think people are just afraid to be confronted with what they don't want to see about themselves hmm. and and as human beings we're basically afraid of our own thoughts and on some levels so <laughs> if we're afraid of our own thoughts of the thoughts about some the thoughts that another person might be having about us yeah. are, are can be very threatening. So you know, fear of criticism and not being liked, and you know, all of that is going to come up. You know, it's a it's a reflection of being in a relationship is a reflection of yourself with the other person. So it's a it's an ongoing you know dance yeah. of knowing yourself yep. and the other person. Intimacy into me, I see. I've heard that before. I, love that. I like that one. Yeah, that it's works. Good. Well, you, well, let's talk about why is it like that? Because intimacy is a mirror that shows me unhealed parts of myself. I'm going to say this for everyone, and I want you to think about this, even maybe be with it for over the next week or so. But there's a saying when you're in a relationship with someone that there's really, and I, I modify this over the years, but if Lori and I are together, there's really six of us here and there's Lori and I and there's both our parents and everything that we learn from our parents about love and intimacy and that gets complicated when you have step parents etc yeah so so there maybe even there's more mm -hmm. so the whole idea is to get all of them they used to have a saying is get them out of the relationship what does that mean that means any of the unhealed parts of myself from my parents mm -hmm. left over from that they will show up in my marriage and my relationship so people are afraid of it because they're also afraid to look at that, to see that part of themselves. So one of the things, let's share some of the tips we use for intimacy. I mean, we're, I think communication's key. That's key. That's Being definitely. able to be able to speak about what, how you're feeling, mm -hmm. and and making sure you're learning to listen. We spoke about that on some previous videos. Knowing, uh, learning to listen. Um, I mean, feedback. It sounds so official, right? Like giving each other feedback, but being open when it when it occurs and sometimes if if I, either one of us feels a little defensive it's just it's, it's funny we kind of laugh at each other we do. <laughs> when that happens uh just because we know what it is you know it's like the little child coming out and saying i don't want to what are you talking about or i can't believe you said that or whatever it is you know it doesn't happen often but <laughs> yeah when it does it's fun i think probably one of the best tips for intimacy i didn't share this one with you but i know it works if you could really get this one, you could have an amazing relationship. It's vacuuming. <laughs> I think vacuuming. If you vacuum, I, I know vacuuming. Really <laughs> so finding things. What do I mean by find, you know every the beauty of relationships is their strength and weaknesses. Lori's strengths are very often my weaknesses, and vice versa. So using your your partner as a team and intimacy also you know is about connections, about seeing past the things you don't like or the things in the way or this or that. It's really about seeing past and looking at the soul of another human being and be reminded of your own through the relationship. Yeah, it's 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 commitment on a whole new level to yeah. be committed to that. I mean, you can be in a relationship and not be committed to intimacy. You can you know, just hang out and do your thing or you can be committed to greater things. Yeah, well, I'll leave this too, and, and this maybe is a whole other topic, is the hookup culture that a lot of us learn. Intimacy doesn't really thrive in that. It, when I say that, I say that a little bit tongue in cheek. It doesn't thrive in it. So intimacy takes commitment over time of being able to work through your stuff when it comes up, being able to push through, and, and the rewards are huge. So whether you're in an intimate relationship or not, if you're afraid of it or not, hopefully some of these tips can support you in really going out there and creating an awesome life, uh, an intimate life. Because I think deep down, everybody would love an intimate relationship in, and it doesn't need to just be like a romantic intimate relationship, but to be intimate with another human being, and to be able All to- All our relationships, and how nice yeah. is, would that be? Yeah. To make have that kind of commitment, to love wherever we go, you know? Awesome. 
And don't forget to back in, guys. <laughs> yes, back in. It's the key. Or women, it depends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the about. dishes, what's fine, you know? So what are they supposed to do? Share, like, and subscribe. And keep uh, keep up to date and keep uh, in touch with us through uh, subscribing to the channel. We'll have weekly videos for you. And as always, thank you for listening in and hopefully you take some tips on health, wealth, other matters of the heart for your life. Absolutely. See you have next time.